Apple's release of iOS 14 has raised a lot of questions across the marketing industry. Don't worry, we're going to break it down for you and answer everything. It would probably be good to first understand exactly what SK Ad Network is and maybe how to pronounce it. StoreKit Ad Network, or SK Ad Network, is a privacy-centric API that is operated completely by Apple. It provides ad networks and advertisers with ad activity measurement via direct install attribution. Apple's goal in doing this is to provide accurate attribution for iOS campaigns without disclosing any device or user data. Let's start small and break it down piece by piece. We'll begin with the four main players involved. The publishing app, the app that is displaying the ad. The ad network, the target app, the app that is being advertised, and the mobile measurement partner. Each of these players has specific roles and responsibilities to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Now let's take a look at the ad options. There are two types of engagements that SK Ad Network registers. These are a bit different from classic mobile ads, so this gets a bit confusing. But bear with me, we'll get through it together. Views, whether an ad was viewed, and store kit renders, whether or not a store kit rendering was generated. When an ad is displayed to the user, a three second timer starts. If the ad is shown for three seconds at least, this is indicated as a successful view. If the user interacts with the ad, the publisher will launch the store kit rendering, where a miniature version of the advertised app page from the App Store pops up directly in the publisher app. The publishing app decides what triggers the store kit pop-up. It can be immediately when the ad appears, after a video ends, when the user clicks on the ad, and more. Since a store kit renders after some type of interaction, it indicates a higher level of engagement and interest from the user. Okay, now we're going to put all the pieces together by taking a look at the SK Ad Network flow and how it works. An SK Ad Network ad is displayed in a publishing app. As soon as the ad is displayed, the publishing app starts the three second timer and notifies SK Ad Network that it has started. If the ad is displayed for at least three seconds, the publishing app will then notify SK Ad Network that the three second timer is up and this activity will be recorded as a successful view. If the user engages in some predetermined way with the ad, the publisher renders the advertised app store kit. Once it is displayed, SK Ad Network registers that the store kit was rendered successfully. The next step would hopefully be for the user to download the advertised app, since that is ultimately the whole goal of all of this. In store kit rendered ads, the user can download the app right then and there. If the user installs the app and launches it within the SK Ad Network attribution window, the install is attributed to the ad network, and the device sends the install post back to the ad network. For SK Ad Network, the attribution window can be up to 30 days between click and install, depending on the ad type. Unlike standard postbacks, SK Ad Network postbacks are not immediately sent to the ad network when the app is first launched. The SK Ad Network postbacks are built on a timer mechanism that only sends the postbacks when the timer runs out. The timer delays the postbacks by a minimum of 24 hours. Since the timer mechanism itself is quite complex, we're gonna give that a video of its own. Once the timer runs out, the ad network receives the postback. Here is an example of a postback that contains all possible parameters. What's interesting to note is that the postback doesn't contain any device or user data, and together with the timer delay, ensures that the user's data is kept private. If the advertiser is working with an MMP, like AppsFlyer, the postbacks will be reported to the MMP and the advertiser via dedicated dashboards and APIs. Working with an MMP helps advertisers centralize all their data from the networks they are working with in one place and get visual insights into campaign performance. It can also provide them protection from SK Ad Network fraud, as well as tools for determining and optimizing their conversion value. So, as you can see, SK Ad Network is complex. This video only covers the tip of the iceberg. To learn more about SK Ad Network, conversion values, timers, and more, go to appsfire.com slash iOS 14.